what is up YouTube, it is the D or Mad Dog, depending on how you know me, and uh, thank you so much, Thumbsir Gaming, for letting me upload this uh, commentary to your channel, I really appreciate it, and uh, for all your subscribers out there, uh, hi, I'm the D or Mad Dog, and uh, this is a um, episode from a series I do called Tea Time with the D, and what it is, uh, it's just nice gameplay with a nice commentary about relevant topics in the gaming community. So, uh, first off, I want to get this out of the way. The reason I know this, I know these have been released for a while, but the reason I'm knowing all this is that um, my friend's dad is vice president of marketing for Activision, so I get to find out a lot before other people do, so definitely go check out my channel and subscribe, because I'm either going to be putting up a commentary or a bulletin about information as soon as I find out, well, find out. <laughs> Uh, and you should also follow me on Twitter and Facebook, uh, just in case I can't make it to my YouTube. But I swear to God, guys, the moment I find out about this stuff, I am making sure that you guys know about it. Um, so diving right in, this one is about uh, Modern Warfare 3 confirmed perks, and there's a lot of them, so better get started. Uh, let me scroll up here on the magical list of perks. Um, there are going to be three tiers, as always. And uh, interesting about this, there are going to be three uses for each perk. Not sure if you have to unlock all three, or if you unlock the first two immediately. Um, I don't know that yet, but uh, I'm just here to tell you guys what the perks are. The first perk is called Covert, and with this, when you kill someone, they don't get a kill cam, and their teammates don't see the death marker where they died. If you have a silencer with that, that would be the best. I mean, seriously. Um, the other one, the second use is you're hidden from UAVs, and there's no uh, red crosshair or gamer tag when you're targeted. The third one is you remain hidden from all enemy kill streaks. The second perk is called Recon, and use one is uh, kill streak rewards take one less kill. Second use is you can change care packages, or well, and um, retrieve enemy care packages faster. You can detect booby trapped care packages. That one's going to be interesting. I uh, can't wait to see it back. And the last one, you can see all kill streak directions. And what that is is, um, say the enemy calls in an attack helicopter, you get to see what direction it's coming from. Say they call in a carpet bomb, um, the direct um, blast radius will be highlighted in red, so you'll know not to go there because it's about to get blown up. Um, the next one is called Specialist, and with this one, you can run faster, run for longer, and you can crouch walk slash prone faster. Um, this is great because it's like Marathon Lightweight combined. I hated the fact that Marathon Lightweight took up two perk slots, so I'm, I'm glad to see that they condensed it to one perk slot. The final one for Tier 1, that's announced at least, is Scavenger. With uh, Use 1, you can resupply ammo. Use 2, you can resupply grenades. And the third one is still announced. They haven't announced what you do with it yet. So, um, moving on to Tier 2. First perk is Sleight of Hand. You reload faster, aim down sights faster, and swap weapons faster. I like that they um, made it more agility, because now it just makes more sense. Um, I'm glad to see it since uh, quickscoping's returning, and uh, it's going to be awesome. Um, the next one's called Reflexes. And with this one, you knife a lot quicker. You get less flinch when shot. You can stand in prone faster. That one's going to be good to have. Um, the next one's called Sharpshooter. With this one, you get more predictable recoil. The second uh, use is steady aim effect. And the third one, it reduces your idle sway. And you can hold your breath for longer when you're aiming down a sniper rifle. The next one is bling. Um, with this, this, in Modern Warfare 3, the standard weapon attachments are two. So with bling, you could have three attachments. The second use, you get two um, attachments on your secondary. And with the last one, you get two equipment. That's going to be awesome. But however, bling cannot be used if you have a grenade launcher. Um, that one's going to be great because I'm nice to see that, um, you know, they're totally like nerf, nerf, nerfing, noob tubing. Um, the next one is uh, called Weapon Master. With this one, you have two primaries. Um, pretty much just like overkill when you die you don't drop weapons and you have a tertiary pistol for those of you who don't know what it is it's primary secondary tertiary so you get to have like primary primary pistol awesome can't wait to see how that works now moving on to tier three um bandoy layer I, I said that word it's bandolier um with you spawn you spawn with full ammo um use two you get two lethal grenade slots and with three um, third use, get through, uh, I'm sorry, that was part of 
use two. With use two, you get two lethal grenades and three tactical grenades. And um, for the last one, you hold breath. I mean, not hold breath, sorry. Uh, I This is like my tenth try since my sister keeps on calling, so sorry if I screw it up, and sorry if you hear a phone ringing in the background, because uh, my sister's late for work and some crap, but that's not concerning you. And uh, with the last one, you hold more ammo. Okay, <laughs> yeah, glad I got that out. Um, With the next one, uh, Tactician, you get no falling damage. You throw grenades a lot quicker and farther, and you could reset the fuse when you throw back a grenade. That one's going to be very useful, can't wait to have it. Next one's called Infiltrator. This use one, you have silent footsteps. Um, two, enemy equipment uh, does not affect you unless it's proximity, which I don't get because, you know, I don't see how it would affect you. If it were like C4, how would you not die from a C4 blast? But, you know, whatever. And with the last one, you diffuse quicker in game modes. I hope it's not significant because that seems like it would be really unfair on like demolition and that. Because, you know, SND, it's like most of the time you'd have to be t defending until like five seconds, but for all you know, this could be like a two second diffuse. But, uh, you know, I'm interested to see how long it is. And with the last one, it's called Navigator. With this one, you have a longer radar time, so when someone shoots, the red dot will take way longer to disappear, and it'll also show the direction that they're facing when they shot. Um, the second one is you're not affected by counter UAVs, and the third effect is just like a, um, like a, uh, scrambler. Right. So, um, these are all the perks that are so far confirmed. Um, like I said, subscribe to my channel, because the moment they are released, I will be telling you guys... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's about 50 seconds left. I wish I could have dragged that on a wee bit longer, but, um, pretty much just enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Uh, at this point, I would like to say definitely go check out my channel, subscribe, and, uh, if you want, add me as a friend. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the fact that I told you guys the perks. And, uh, sorry if I'm dragging on here, but, um, yeah, until then, thanks, guys. Um, yeah, peace.